Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Mariana. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. So today's been really, really long video that I wanted to do, long awaited video. Um, I know a lot of you guys like to watch my LSAT videos and I know I haven't done them in a while. So I wanted to get back on it. Um, the truth is I haven't been really focusing on that LSAT right now. If you guys are new here, I'm a senior at Loyola, which means I'm about to graduate. So that's right now my main focus. And that's why I'm taking a gap year. So then after graduation, it's just full-time focus, the LSAT. And I try to study like here and there, but just between being a full-time student and working, it's just I'm not putting the right intention span than I should be. And I don't want to like mix anything up. So it is kind of difficult but that's why i haven't been doing videos because i don't want to kind of just show you guys like oh lips here and there and i'm not really studying i want to show you guys like the real deal if you guys are new to my channel a lot of my videos i've done which check them out i'm like really brutally honest with you guys about this whole journey like i want to continue to be that way with you guys but yeah so that's pretty much where i'm at with the lsat um, I'll talk a little bit more, but I don't want this intro to be so long. Um, so if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me. And check me out on my socials so you guys stay updated with me. And if you guys want to come along with me about talking about the Elsa and then little study techniques and where I'm where I'm at, what am I doing, um, keep on watching. Elsa, I initially. Um, if you guys are new here, I took the LSAT last year, but I didn't get a score I wanted, and I was supposed to take it again in November, but I intern, I was interning in D.C. on top of being a student. It's really hard to dedicate the amount of time that you're supposed to study for the LSAT, and I just did not want to mess up my schooling because, as we all know, for law admissions, your GPA also matters. And I didn't want to mess that up because I was focusing on the LSAT. So came to the conclusion I was going to take a gap year, which I think I'm going to do a video about talking more about my gap year. So stay tuned. But now I'm in my last semester of my senior year. And, and I thought I could like do more focusing of like the LSAT. So I thought my classes were going to be fine. But they're actually really like I'm really occupied all the time on top of work. And just like activities and I've been trying to study I've done some videos here and there but I just haven't been able to really sit down until the weekend to really like do hours of playing sometimes I'll do 30 minutes sometimes I'll have the chance to do an hour but I'm also focusing to do my homework my main priority right now is to graduate which is in a couple weeks so I'm cramming like everything in between finals and like finishing up work so LSAT hasn't been really on my agenda. And sometimes I get feel unmotivated because I'm like, oh my God, I haven't studied yet. I haven't studied yet. But even talking to my pre-law advisor, she says you cannot focus on the LSAT while you're in school. Like if you have, if you don't take a lot of classes or, you know, you have more open time, then yeah, try to fit in. Use your weekends, which I try to do. But if you're a full-time student like me, it's going to be hard to focus on this exam on top of doing homework. And you need to focus on your GPA as well because, like I said, it's part of the missions. So that's why I haven't been really uploading a lot of LSAT videos. And I know I used to do a lot. But right now my focus is school so I could just finish. And then when it comes to summer, my full-time job, I wanted to initially start working after I... I got back from my volunteer trip, but I know that I would not be able to do a full-time job and study for the LSAT. I know some people can, but I just think for my sake, I need to just make the LSAT my full-time job. So I'm able to like really just focus and dedicate everything to that LSAT. So once it comes to taking the test, right now I'm reaching for taking the test in August, but if I have to, I'll take it in September as well. Also, I apologize if the quality is bad. I'm still filming my phone and ignore my face. I'm like really breaking out badly. But without being sad, I started trying to feel what I wanted to do, like what my focus was on studying. And right now for the past few months that I've been trying to study, I've been trying to feel like what books works best for me, what videos. And right now 
I have the power score. I have a lot of books and what I feel like it's best for me is like when I watch YouTube videos of like lessons, um, that does help me a lot to kind of really see how they're doing it. I'm more of a visual person. So being able to see how people do it kind of helps me a lot. And that's what I did with mix setups because logic games is my strength in the LSAT and I always mess up on mix setups. And that's the only thing that I keep getting wrong. Every time I do the practice test, even like before I took the real test, it was always a mix setups. So I knew that's what I needed to focus on. And just watching videos and going over and over the practice definitely has helped me. So then now when I did practice, um, the practice, practice questions on Khan Academy, I was able to get them right. And so I think that definitely helped me and I'm going to keep doing that. Um, I pretty much came to the conclusion with reading comp. The only way I could get better is just keep on reading passages and just really breaking them down. Um, I know when I did test masters, it definitely told me like write little small notes on the reading comp and that definitely did help me on test day. I did see a little improvement doing that but I just need to practice from reading comp and on time. Like I need to do time limits of reading and I think that will definitely help me because that was something I was personally stressed about during test day is that I was gonna run out of time. Being said, I try to start looking back at my books, but I think it's useful. And I have the power score books, LSAT trainer and then the K plan. And I haven't really reached for the K plan because for me, that book is kind of like restarting to learn and I don't really necessarily need to relearn anything. Probably like logic reasoning, I definitely need more of a review, but I think I fall more back of like using the power score book. So like reading comp is something I could definitely use that book for. Logic games, I don't really need to use because of now I'm only focusing on just um, pretty much just scoring, like narrowing down the whole score. That's what I'm trying to say. Like mix setups pretty much. And then the LSAT trainer, which let me pull it out. This actually helps me a lot. And I think this is what I'm gonna go back to because I've definitely heard a lot of people when I'm studying, they're like, use the LSAT trainer, use the LSAT trainer. I've definitely seen a lot of improvement. And this is the first book I've ever bought. Um, and I haven't gone through it. I mean, I'm half, I'm pretty much halfway through the book. So I think I'm gonna go back to this. And I think this is just what I'm gonna rely on myself on until halfway through. I think maybe July or even starting June, I'm just gonna start doing tests. And that's where I have practice tests that I'm gonna fall into. The good thing about the LSAT trainer is that there's so many diagrams and like they make you write it out and there's a lot of questions. So I think it does definitely help me. I think the good one of the steps that I need to definitely do is time myself. But for right now, which is more narrowing it down. And then when I feel a little bit better, I'm going to have to start timing myself because that is the key to the test. That's the thing that I worried about is time. Because even with logic games, logic games is my strength, but I was running out of time because I was taking my time to like figure out the questions and stuff and writing out the details. So I need to strategize of like, okay, I do one diagram. How am I use that for all my questions? You know, because I felt like I was using different diagrams for every questions. And I know I just need to focus on one. But being said, that is pretty much my plan what I'm gonna do from here until I take the test I'm gonna see how I'm doing like if I don't see any improvement then I'll maybe go back to the K plan book but for right now I want to stick to one book because I feel like if I, I have so many books I kid you not and I told you guys in my other videos that once I'm done with this they there's some that are marked up but I mean they're still usable um I will be giving you a way to these guys giving away these guys for you guys because I know they're expensive and I definitely want to help you guys out, especially because you guys have been really supportive like on my LSAT journey stuff. And if you guys are on the law school journey, definitely want to give you guys back. So once I'm done taking these, I will let you guys know and I will do like a giveaway either on here or my Instagram or like incorporate those. But yeah, so that is my plan for right now. Also, I want to know your guys' thoughts. What are your guys' plans if you guys are planning to take the LSAT? Um, and also, I want to know what kind of videos you guys want to do because I know you guys, like I said, love these videos. So I want to know if you guys want like a week of LSAT study, a weekend, maybe like a video of me taking the test, um, or just like doing law school applications because I know I'm going to start 
they obviously don't open up till September, but right now I'm already just planning to get my letters of recommendation since I'm graduating. So I'm already talking to the professors right now about them. Um, but if you just want to do videos like that, please let me know so I could give it to you guys or anything else. Let me know down below. With that being said, I wanted to just to be like honest with you guys and like the reality of the truth is like studying because it can be really hard and no one expects you to like have this huge plan and like if you feel bad of not setting don't worry you're not alone i am the same way i definitely get hard on myself about not studying and i'm like oh my god i'm not gonna be able to go to law school because i'm not studying but that's just like my head thinking about it and that the reality is like i'm in school right now this is my focus i need to get school done so then i have the grades to put in my application you know and I just wanted to just show you guys that it's okay. It's okay that if you have a three month schedule, four month schedule, maybe you do have time to study for so long. That's your own path. And that's why I want to show you guys realistically my, because this, I know there's some videos out there that sometimes people say, I studied for two months and I got like a 170 or something. And I want to show you this side that it's okay if you don't do well the first time. And you just have to keep trying. And if you don't do it the second time, do it the third time. My teacher um, that I took a prep course, he took it three times and was able to get into Northwestern law. So I, to me, that just kind of reminds me, like, don't give up because it's there's a way to get in um, to a school you want. So I thought I was going to show you guys some practice tests, but I feel like this is more of like a sit down chit chat video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys like an update and just kind of like the truth about preparing for the LSAT and just like getting that because I think sometimes people, we need reminders that it's not all pretty and sparkles. It's definitely really hard and it's not easy, but definitely we'll get through it. I'll get through it with you guys and I'm here for a resource. If anyone wants to chit chat, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below so I can answer them in a video or something. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys.